All right, guys. So we're going to give the online a try. Let's see how this goes. I could do ranked right away. There's a ranked match. Let's just try online quick. Check how the connection is and everything like that. Let's see what we got here. I like doing a middleweight bout. Try Joe Kawasaki. Give it a try. Wonder if this is actually ranked too. I'm Todd Grisham. Welcome to the one and only Empire Fight Camp. And next to me for the broadcast, the one and only Johnny Nelson. Hi, Todd. Nice to be here with you. It's time for our tale of the tape. So here is Roy Jones Jr., 180 centimeters tall and weighed in at 159 on the dot. And he'll be facing Joe Calzaghe, the pride of Wales. Tip the scales at 167 pounds even. He's six foot tall with a reach of 73 inches this is it this is that fight this is that argument i don't know what to expect i believe this isn't ranked when i sort of mess with the rank i feel like they were cheating more so let's see how this goes here is roy jones jr this of course one of the great young champions in the world today they call him captain hook this guy's internet connection isn't good either I don't know what it is with people with these internet connections. Here comes the pride of Wales, super middleweight, light heavyweight world champion. He has never been. This bout is scheduled for eight rounds of boxing. In the red corner, introducing the newly crowned champion, holding a record of 22 wins, no losses, 20 big wins coming by way of knockout. Here is the young, undefeated, and newly crowned IBF middleweight champion of the world, known as Captain Hook, introducing Roy Jones. They'll be fighting under the lights tonight. We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. He misses with that straight yeah, the end of that connection's trash, man. The media expects a lot from this fight under the stars here at night. These fighters about to block themselves off and say, right, that's it. Keep out of it. Now it's fight time. The whole day, everybody's been waiting for these two. This is it. This is so exciting. Murray busted open. <laughs> Tell these two that they can be defensive for a minute if they want to. You don't want to go tit for tat in there in this fight. For those who thought this would be a mismatch, you are sorely wrong. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. <laughs> Counterfighter relies a lot on their instincts and reaction time. You've got to get in there quick to punch your opponent before he gets his fist back to block. Oh, and Joe Calzaghe just took a heavy shot. Joe Calzaghe is on the canvas. I see many shots like that. A simple, simple short shot. Put the fighter down. Talk about Calzaghe in that last round. It's not over till it's over, but that knockdown is going to be huge. I love the response, though. Got back up, took a deep breath, and thought, right, brush it off, get on with the job. Just get your breath back. 
Good work. About what you do. Good work. The jab's working. Not can't miss him. Great work. Stay focused. Don't let him back into the And there's the bell to start the round. Got to get the momentum shift coming their way. What can they do here? What a knockdown. One minute. You need one hour to get over a shot like that. Now it's down to conditioning. Now it's down to mental strength and preparation. It's how you are going to deal with this. He threw a punch and just got countered. Missing with the hook. I don't think it's going to be a boxing match. This is going to be a fight. And he misses with that straight left. This slugger isn't interested in winning rounds. He just wants to win the fight. And he's not going to do it on the scorecard, Johnny. He needs a KO. Terrorized them into not wanting to throw a punch because they don't even see the shot leaving. Big shots from both these fighters. Got to be careful, though. Skill for skill, tap for tap. She's like a match made in heaven. <laughs> to put some combination work together. One punch is good, two punches better. This internet connection kind of sucks. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there would be uh, some more action here. Swing and a miss with that hook. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. It's no secret who has the advantage after that last round. Let's see what they have in store for us in the next one. As long as they don't get complacent, you think this is too easy. If they keep this same kind of pace up, they've got this fight. This is a fight that round. That's his Come on. You've let him get back into this. You're betting on this kid. Go. Yeah. Come on, you've let him back into this. You're betting this kid. Go back out. Get your rhythm back, and then we go again. Now. They ring the bell, and here we go. This fight has been very one-sided. What are we going to have in this round? Oh, my motto is, Goes punches. If it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round. Everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. A lot of people love watching fighters in this weight class because they've got the speed and they've got the power. This is with the straight left. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there might be more action here. Stamina is so important for these two fighters because it allows them to use their skills throughout the match. It could all come down to who's in better shape. Look back in the history books. Some of the best fighters in the world were the middleweights. Yes, the glamour division of the heavyweights, we know. But I'm telling you now, you look right there. These guys are on it. Fast, sharp, powerful. But it hurts. And you can imagine that being you. They're the size of an Andrews man. Play through the round, and there's not a lot separating these two. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. Now, this fight will say, you know what? I'm just that notch above you. And so I've got to respect both of them. More than happy. Misses with the straight left. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. They've got the momentum. They've got the advantage. How do they carry that into the next round? You can't leave it up to the judges. It's up to you as the fighter. And the cornerman's got to put a firecracker on that fighter. Get out there and get the job done.
Good man. Shots in there. Very up a little bit so he can't figure you out. Great work. Doing what you're doing. The gaps will appear and he'll start tiring out. Set of time. Set him up. But he'll take him out. He's ready to go. He's absolutely shattered. He's hurt. He's ready to go. But you've got to be smart. Otherwise, he'll see it and he'll ride it out. Go out. Back. We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. That last round was huge for him, Johnny. How does he keep the momentum going? Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round, everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hand down. They are giving us a high tempo show. Well, Johnny, I know it's still early on, but have you been surprised by anything you've seen? Now you've got two fighters that are absolutely shattered. What gets you through? Willpower. Calm, because if you panic, you get desperate. If you get desperate, you make mistakes. If you make mistakes, you get knocked out. Tried to score with that hook, but missed. What a round so far as we've reached the halfway point. <laughs> so close, so close. How can you suck? The pride of Wales in some real trouble. Bambi legs are kicking in. Let's look at those legs. The legs have gone. Keep away from him. Keep away from him. He couldn't seize the moment. Now they've got to wake up. They've got to get on the back foot, clear the head a little bit, then jump back into it again. It's all about the hustle. Get back on it. He misses with that straight left. It's like a game of joust. They both got their swords. They're slinging it. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. We dropped him. This internet connection is horrible, though. A lot of work needs to be done in this corner. Two knockdowns in the last round. They believe their fighter has it in the tank. He's not in your league. They ring the bell, and here we go. Something has got to change after two knockdowns in the last round. Two knockdowns, and you're coming back from that? That's near on impossible, because your head must be all over the place. Your legs would feel like jelly. What can they tell you in the corner? All they can do is wake you up. They can't even go into game plan. Endurance is becoming a factor. You can see this fighter having a hard time getting out of the way of the punches, and they're not throwing... It's like I can spam the... Always gives us a class. If you've got two class middleweight fighters, you are in for action. I'm quite sure right now, if you know your boxing, there's a certain fighter, Mr. Mr. I would just say marvelous, but some fighters were unbelievable. Roy Jones Jr. in trouble. Oh, what a shot. He's staggered. He's staggered. Does he know? Does he know he's even gone? What the hell? Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. That was the moment! Defense, defense, defense is everything because they got shot once. They know they can get caught again. So for the can you believe it? Roy Jones Jr. is on the back foot now. He stays. Where should he look? What should he do? Should he run? Should he, should he try and hold on? Just one punch away from turning his fortunes around. What recovery skills they are. What a shot it was. Completely gone. I thought there's no way he's going to finish this round. But look at him. Look at the mover. Look at the speed. Back on it. Look, it never happened. That's crazy right now. Both men step back for just a moment. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. That bell could not have come soon enough for this guy. Every second, every minute of this fight is important. Every second, every minute of this round is important. You cannot afford to lose it. Now don't need to load up. 
Tom. Set him up. We can take him out. He's ready to go. He's absolutely shattered. Ready to go. He's absolutely shattered. He's hurt. He's ready to go. Get me right here. And there's the bell to start the round. It has been all one-way traffic. How do they turn this around? This is one of those situations. You've just been hurt. You've got to get out there again. Be smart. Be sharp. Don't be a fool. Don't get sucked in. There. Make him fight. You're fine. Boy Jones Jr. <laughs> He should get up. He's back on his feet, but his opponent is licking his chops right now. He's up for how long? Look at him. Can you believe it? Roy Jones Jr. is on the back foot now. His legs have gone. He's got to get a hands up. It's survival instincts now. Get him up. Disaster averted. Green Days now needs to steady the pace. Get the pace back to normal. It's been a tough round so far. It's been a tough, tough round. But what do you do? What do you do? Roy Jones Jr. in trouble. Does he know he's hurt him? Look at him. That back foot went. It completely shivered. Did you see that time? A true champion knows how to get out of trouble. Do they get into trouble? Roy Jones Jr. believe it. This is crazy. <laughs> well, he's had enough, and he is gonna quit. I right, threw the towel in. So there you have it. it that was a bad. I don't know. That is not the way he surrendered. They don't like that. Listen to that. I don't know. The internet connection or, or what? Team there. He's gonna give him hellfire. This is what you work on as a fighter. Yeah, so I don't know what that was, guys. Let's try another one off uh, rank. Um, let's try Ali. Let's see what we get. As expected, not a ticket left, ladies and gentlemen. We are sold out at the. All right, we're against Theater. Wilder. Let's see if this guy has a better internet connection. I have pretty good uh, internet connection, so we'll see how it goes. He's two and two. I'm one and zero. Just those um, those punches sucked. Six foot seven inches tall with that massive 83 inch reach. Up against them, Muhammad Ali weighed in at 210 pounds, and he stands 191 centimeters tall. There's an amazing reach advantage, which you do not actually realize is there until you get popped by that jab. The distance that's great is ridiculous. Deontay Wilder, bronze bomber, fighting out of Tuscaloosa, Alabama, the former heavyweight champion of the world. This is Muhammad Ali, perhaps the biggest man. So he has four four today. losses with Before two Dan Tyson Fury. Fight, Zhang, oh yeah, and Parker. To claim the world heavyweight championship. All right, so in 1964, Muhammad Ali. We'll see how this goes. This is ridiculous. 
That's crazy. You can spam certain buttons in here. Let's see how this goes. Let's see how we can do against Wilder. Rounds of boxing. Fighting out of the red corner. An Olympic bronze medalist from... This guy better have a good internet connection. This ain't 1998 or whatever the hell it was when I played the games back in the day. 2000, whatever. When there's guts, when there's feeling, when there's heart involved, that's when you get a good fight. One on one. Under the bright lights, I feel like Ali would just one. run through really Wilder. She just have to watch that right hand. I mean, if he could really be Foreman, come on. I don't. I, I'm not that good at these games, but this game. But yeah, this goes. That one will count. Misses. Oh, this guy's gonna tire himself out. I could tell. Has to be careful for that receipt. It's always coming. It is standing room only. Every seat has been sold in this amazing theater. You've been in everything tonight. You know what? When you're in a theater, you know you've got to perform. There's no cutting corners. There's no making of excuses. Oh, I rocked them. So transparent. All laid out there. Straight right just missed. Back and forth they go. Neither fighter willing to back down. And he just missed with that left jab. Skill for skill, tap for tap. She's like a match made in heaven. That counter shot lands. Who would have thought Ali would get rattled like this? Oh, I heard that never by saw it. <clears throat> the greatest Muhammad Ali. Oh, we got dropped from a body shot. Oh, he's down, he's down. Is he gonna get up? He's staggering. So he's back up, but is he just delaying the inevitable? He's got to waste time. Get step behind the rough. Not the best of rounds with 10 seconds to go. Boy, this next round is going to be crucial considering the knockdown we just witnessed. Can make or break a fighter. And there's the bell to start the round. Got to get the momentum shift coming their way. What can they do here? What a knockdown. One minute. You need one hour to get over a shot like that. Now it's down to conditioning. Now it's down to mental strength and preparation. That's how you are going to do it. doesn't just want to win by knockout they want to do it early so they can get out of here terrorize them into not wants to draw punch because they don't even see the shot leaving that counter punch caught him clean someone tell these two that they can be defensive for a minute if they want to That overhand right is bad. Need to pick things up here in the second half of the round. The referee deems they can continue, but this might be a big mistake. Well, now it's about getting back to the corner, freshen up, new instructions given to you. And they've got to G you up. They've got to tell you what you're doing wrong and what you're doing wrong. Some fighters, when this happens, this can be heartbreaking. Some fighters, it makes them angry. They want to get back into the mix again. I want to know, what sort of character are we looking at here? Final 10 seconds here, and this is me. Is this the beginning of the end for Muhammad Ali? His legs have gone. He's got to get a hands up. It's survival instincts now. Get him up. <clears throat>
All right, what happened now, Froze? Wow, this, this sucks. All right, guys, let's retry it. I don't know what is going on right now with this internet. And I have a really high intense internet, so try it again. Let's see. We're gonna rerun uh the 64 hour lead back. I was I was uh doing so so there, but I feel like you could spam honestly the power punches, it seems like. This game I I think you need to be playing with friends right now because the internet's you still you gotta see the crash. We got Larry Holmes, nice. All right, I went over the rules. I want you to protect yourself at all times, and what I say you must obey. Good luck. Get my ass kicked by Larry Holmes. Oh.
My ass kick right now. Jesus. Got out of that one. Let's see if this guy tires out. That spam of that power shot. Yeah, just spamming the power shot. Let's see. 
He eventually gets tired. Guy just keeps tagging me, huh? All he's doing is that straight right. Oh, we dropped him. Spamming the power punches. Drop them again. Oh, this might be a comeback. Drop them again. We got to stay in there. He might have tired himself out. Oh. Like a cocky. Oh, he's hurting me. Still dangerous. This is so quick.
a pretty good fight so far Ah, we got one. That was a decent bout that I lost. It's all right. <laughs> 